First, make sure your paper is positioned on the table horizontally and then fold it in half. This will make sure that you have two equal spaces that are big enough to fit your hand inside. When you open it back up, you will see the folded line in the middle and then on either side is where you're going to trace your hand. We're going to use a pencil first for the tracing part. Put your hand down into the space and leave a little bit of your wrist as well and then trace around with your pencil. Try to get into those tiny spaces between your fingers. Then what you're going to do is flip your paper around and trace again on the other side so that your hands kind of create a mirror image. For the designs, we're going to jump right in with a Sharpie. This is a fine point Sharpie, which are really great for creating fine details and fine lines. Now for the line designs, there's really no wrong way to do this part. All you need to do is think about the different line varieties that you um, know. So I used curved lines, a series of curved lines to create my design for this one. For this second one, I used a series of zigzag lines or pointed lines and straight lines to create this design. So just think about different line varieties that you know and how you can use them creatively to um, create your design. There's really no wrong way to do this part. Just use your imagination to come up with an interesting line design. I think for my next design, I'm just going to make some wiggly lines that kind of squiggle and kind of wiggle around and go back and forth and just kind of free form lines. I'm just free handing it and just tracing around the inside and then around the outside and following the same curves and shapes that I see just to build off of that wiggly shape. And then I'm just going to go and kind of do the same thing. I'm freehanding this, which means I'm not really thinking too much about it. I'm just kind of letting my hand kind of do its thing to create the, the first line. And then I'm adding lines inside that shape that I create. And I'm just following along all the way till I get to the edge where my hand is, my, the line that I drew with pencil. I'm just gonna continue doing that until my entire hand design is filled up with lines. One thing to keep in mind as you're drawing your lines is to make sure that you don't leave too much space in between each line. You wanna keep your lines pretty close together so that it fills up the space. Something else to keep in mind is to take your time and go slowly. Right now I'm in time lapse, so you can't really tell how long this is taking me to do this, but this part actually took me about 20 minutes to fill in my entire hand with this design because I was going really slowly, keeping my lines really close and tight together. Um, so it really did actually take me a while. And taking your time is what's really gonna make all the difference. So now the design with the lines is in the positive space. Remember the positive space is the subject or um, the, the area of interest in the work of art. So what I'm going to do next is erase the pencil line that I initially traced my hand with. And you will see because that design, that line design inside the hand goes to the edge that hand is not going to go anywhere. So we're still going to see the hand because again, that is the positive space. So after you finish your first section, you can put this away, but I am going to demonstrate how to do the second section for next class. Cause this should probably take everybody about two classes to finish if we're really taking our time. So here is day two, when I'm demonstrating here and I'm just doing the same kind of line design, but I'm doing it on the outside edges of the hand. The hand, again, is the positive space, but the design is going to be in the negative space this time. Just like before, erase your pencil lines when you're finished with the second design. 